The Glavin Ford Locker Room Show takes us back inside of Clay Center Tiger Football as we're joined by our four captains on this year's team heading in to the regional portion of the playoffs, the second round. And Owen Craig, Weston Hammond, Walker Henry, Cole Platson with us. Uh, guys, I'll start with, let's look at the last two ball games you guys have played. One point thrillers um, at home. You had a chance to win to get at home, win a game to get back at home. I guess... Walker, you've got the mic. Give us a little look what it felt like uh, coming out on the field. And, and in a game that was so crazy, start with Marysville. It's a big rivalry game, and, and you guys had to get that win and, and, and got it done in dramatic fashion. Talk yeah. about the game a little bit. Just like you said, we really needed that win, and I feel like as a team we went out and gave everything we had because we knew we needed that for the playoffs. So. Cole, I'll let you speak a bit to coming off of injury. This is a a year that's been as crazy as I have broadcast, I think, ever. The number of injuries in and out of games. We've got another one standing next to me here. But, Cole, coming back from the two games you had to miss, um, how much pain are you in come Friday night when you kick the game off? Uh, usually once game time starts, I don't feel much. <laughs> so just try to manage it, manage it in practice and try to keep the load off it as much as I can to feel healthy for Friday nights. You guys came back so sharp, I thought, uh, in your first game back, and, and throwing the football in particular. Uh, how do you stay sharp when you can't really go full practice? Do you still get to throw it around to the guys? or? Yeah, I try to throw as much as I can and keep the chemistry with the receivers, but it's been it's been a different year with everyone being out and even some of the receivers have been out with Jace just getting back. So it's it's been tough, and you just kind of got to go out and compete on Fridays. You know, one more question for you. The guy standing next to you, you two seem to have a some type of timing connection that's been pretty special this year. Talk about how that kind of came to be. I mean, it seems like when Walker's making a break, the ball's in the air, and you guys just have a feel for how that works. Talk about the timing on that. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it's – it's been a long time coming since flag football. He's always on my team, and there's a video out there of me throwing him way back then. But I mean, he's he was also always one of those guys. Uh, even when he wasn't playing last year, he was always getting extra work in, and I got the chance to throw to him a lot. So it just kind of we gained traction over time and got better as the years went on. Weston, I know you've had trouble with injury this year as well uh, you have been cleared to play against Andale correct yes how hard is it to be on the sidelines on the I may see you down there you're involved you're cheering the guys on but it's got to be you got to be biting at the bit right now don't you yeah it was really difficult the last couple of weeks especially just standing up at practice watching everyone get their work done and then going to the games and having to stand there and watching a couple of great games and getting a couple of great dubs and I'm really happy to be back this week Owen, um, on the other hand, you've got to learn how to stand and, and watch yeah. from the sideline. Talk about the injury just a little bit. It happened so early in the, the Pratt game, and I was on the road back and heard that you got injured, hoping maybe you'd be back on the sideline. That didn't happen. I, it, tell us what's what's going on. Uh, yeah, it's something with my hip flexor. It's either popped or out of place, and then I got a bone. It's like pin pinching the muscle or the tissue, so it's really painful to raise my leg, but um, it happened like first – position on defense and I was shooting down to make a tackle and it just popped or something but had an MRI yesterday so hopefully get the results back soon but knowing this injury I'm probably out for the rest of the season but that's yeah, a tough pill to take the ozone will be missed out there on the field uh, you guys have the game moved up to Thursday due to the field conditions the weather is that a positive for you guys you uh, want to go play yeah for me I guess I'm not really playing but <laughs> I think that's a really big advantage to our our team and what we want to do on the offense and like for Cole throwing the ball, it's not going to be wet out and West Fevers and catch the ball. So that's a great point. Weston, as uh, you get back on the field, anxious to go catch, you catch everything. We tell, talk about that a lot. Are you ready to go out and make something happen? Yeah, I'm excited to get back out there and I've had a great week of practice. So I'm ready to go play tomorrow. Walker, one question for you. Are you happy to see the guy to your right back on the field so you don't have to get your nose quite up in the business like you had to the last couple of ball games? You yeah. did a great job, by the way, but I know that's not your natural position up there. Yeah, I like it just because now this week he's on my side, so it <laughs> makes it a little easier for me. So Absolutely. You guys, this has been a fantastic season, and I hope people across the state are seeing five and four and thinking, what are they doing here? Because the four losses, we know how hard those games were and how close they were. Now, 
Time to give Andel a little business, I think, on a Thursday night. Great start to the season. Now let's keep the season going in the postseason. Right on? That's our Tiger captains, Tiger football at Andel Thursday night on the Glavin Fort Locker Room Show.